Tom Ryan from Nice Racecourse. Um, how's Nice Racecourse going? Uh, I know you have some news for us, but uh, just tell us a little bit about, uh, bring us up to date with Nice Racecourse. Uh, in a general sense, we're all about positivity at the moment on, on both codes. I suppose the National Hunt side of things, which we're in the middle of at the moment, um, is very much on the curve. Uh, upcoming on the 4th of January, uh, in a couple of weeks' time, we have our first Grade 1 race, uh, the Grade 1 Lawler's Hotel Novice Hurdle. Uh, 90 years in, in waiting, I suppose, for us um, in that way. Uh, it is our 90th anniversary since uh, we began racing at NACE next year, so it's very prudent. Uh, NACE's traditional, um, I suppose, um, reputation for being a, a trials track for a Grade 1 performer's future in their career, we would average on about uh, one Grade 1 winner or Group 1 winner each and every meeting through NACE in the season. Um, so it's nice to finally arrive at the big table and have the Grade 1 race proper. Um, it's a race in particular that uh, has generated a lot of activity in terms of Cheltenham winners years gone by, um, the likes of Very Wood, Champagne Fever, um, all those kind of horses in, in years, in recent years have come on and, and won at Nace and then on to Cheltenham in March. So that's, I suppose, the, the nucleus of the reason why it was upgraded uh, from that end. In, in assessing the project, we were kind of very uh, adamant that it would be a local involvement and there was going to be a logical prudence to, to the sponsorship connection. Uh, with, that, with that thought in mind, uh, we approached Lawler's Hotel in Nace, uh, very progressive organisation. They're in the, the midst of uh, expanding their operation, adding new, hot, new rooms and new facilities for locals and, and people further afield to make use of when they come to Nace. Um, Lawler's and Mrs. Lawler originally uh, was very prudent um, in, in, had a lot of involvement um, in NACE in the 20s. Uh, she, herself and her family were there on the first meeting in 1924. We have a photograph of them uh, in the owner's trainer's bar. Uh, she was quite active in racehorse ownership as well and owned uh, Mill House in particular in, in his early years. And he actually won at NACE um, in earlier in his career. So there's a very, very uh, uh, kind of logical uh, kind of involvement there and everybody at Lawler's Hotel are, are very enthusiastic. Um, we're obviously very enthusiastic because of the, 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 the historicness of this event. So we're all getting together, there's a lot of very good work going on behind the scenes at the moment and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to a great day. And tell us, what is this going to mean to NACE Racecourse? Well I suppose everybody that's involved in NACE see themselves on parity with some of the bigger tracks, you know, internationally, even nationally, nationally, I suppose, and in Great Britain, I suppose, on the National Hunt side of things. Uh, on the flat side of things, you'd see NACE graduates winning, you know, Breeders' Cups, Royal Ascot, you know, Australia, Hong Kong, all around the world. So the thinking was that if we could provide the first initial opportunity for them to start their career, why not have an opportunity for them to reach the pinnacle, which is a grade one victory, at NACE also? Um, so that was always the, always the thinking and, and I suppose in terms of our overall programme it's a, it's, it's a wheel that never stops turning, we're continuing to try and progress it, improve it as situations arise and change, you know, so a great one is the ultimate and we're, we're happy to, to join the, the top table with the punch sounds, with the leper sounds um, at, that, at that level.